The Brainiac Corporation. And another day begins. From all over the country, a crack team of the finest minds arrive at their base. Their mission, to continue to push back the boundaries of scientific knowledge and understanding. So come on in. Step inside with us. But prepare yourself for a bumpy ride as we embark on the worst excesses that are Brainiac Science Abuse. Brainiac. 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 Welcome to Brainiac, the show that tickles science until it wets its pants. Yes, a brand new series of the show that reminds scientists of the reasons they first donned a lab coat. Mindless explosions, dangerous reactions, and excruciating experiments. And, of course, we'll blow more caravans to Kingdom Cup. And tonight, we destroy a piano in the name of science. There's a nasty shock in store for a celebrity. Which foodstuff makes the best DIY shaving cream? And get ready for the World Series of Brainiac Darts. But first... Stop. The following experiment is dangerous. Do not try this at home. No, really, don't. This off-white orb is an ostrich egg. It's made up of three layers nearly 20 millimetres thick. That's ten times thicker than your average chicken egg and tough enough for a six-foot-tall, 150-pound bird to sit on. Microwaves are deadly at close range, and as they heat up our six-inch long encased protein package, the yolk gets nuked and starts to expand. Until finally... It bursts. We do these experiments so you don't have to. Do not try this at home. Which is the fizziest drink? The fizzy drink was invented in 1767 when Englishman Joseph Priestley bubbled carbon dioxide through a glass of water and came up with water with bubbles in. Brilliant! For the next 250 years, other people have added sugar, fruit and, best of all, booze and made it much more fun to drink. Now, these brainiacs have been busy filling these three barrels with the fizziest drinks known to mankind. For this experiment, we have selected lager. Some might say that's a bit of a waste, but not us. This is science, after all. Champagne. Well, actually, it's fizzy wine, but they'll never know the difference. And finally, fizzy pop. In this instance, cherry aid. Now, to get a really good fizz, you need to give it a really good shake. And that is what we're going to do next. We're not talking about any old shaking here. This has to be the roughest shaking a can of drink has ever had. OK, Brainiacs and giant cans of fizzy drinks on my command. Begin shaking. Begin! When fizzy drink is shaken, the carbon dioxide dissolved in the fluid is released as thousands of tiny bubbles. Since you can't compress the fluid, the bubbles have to press outwards on the can, which means if you give them a tiny gap to escape from, they'll take their chance and soak you. Now, roll them back down again. Well done. Whoa. Very nice. Brilliant. Now, bring them back up. Oh, this would be good. Brainiacs try teamwork. No, you've got to put your back into it if it's going to work. Come on, give it some shot. There you go. That's better. That's it now. That's a shake. Very good. You know, sometimes the only way to get something done properly is to do it yourself. OK, 
OK, now these giant cans are officially very shaken up, which is why I don't actually want to get too close to them. What we've done is rig the little tiny lid here, which is the equivalent of the tab on an ordinary can with a small explosive charge. When we trigger that, the tab will be open like that, only bigger, and then it'll come out. What we then do is measure the height of the resulting stream of fizzy drink, and we will then know which is Britain's fizziest drink. What I'm going to do is run away. Well, we've retreated to a safe, probably, distance. The first can to go is lager on the left. I'm expecting great things. Ready? Three, two, one. Not bad! The lager froth sprayed to a fizzed up height of 20 feet. Impressive. OK, fizzy drink number two, champagne. Think of this as a kind of giant celebration. Ready? Don't care. Three, two, one. That's not bad. That is definitely a very fizzy wine. Lagerman is 20 feet. The champagne spray is sailing at least twice as high. OK, well, champagne clearly ahead with two cans gone. One more to go, though. Fizzy pop. Let's see. Ready? Three, two, one. Hip. Ooh. Now that is what I call fizzy pop. The shaken up cherry aid literally blows the lid off the can. It didn't spray so much, more launched itself into orbit. Well, there you go. That, I think, is final and conclusive proof that Britain's fizziest drink is, in fact, fizzy pop. <laughs> Fantastic. Was anybody killed? <laughs> Things that make you go. Here's one for you. Why doesn't glue stick to the inside of the bottle? Deep underground at Brainiac HQ, we've invited the world of celebrity to mix with some dangerous electrical equipment in an experiment that will answer one of science's burning questions. Which celebrity can take the biggest electric shock? This week's volunteer is former Member of Parliament, Neil Hamilton. To prevent permanent physical damage and any resulting lawsuit, Mr Hamilton is given a safe phrase he must shout to stop the pain. 57-year-old Neil is a Pisces. He lists his hobbies as music and gardening and his favourite chemical is alcohol. He claims to have a phobia of Egyptian grocers. Our machine has six settings, from carpet static soft to taser gun intense. But which level will Mr Hamilton be able to withstand? So, Mr. Hamilton kickstarts the electric chair leaderboard, managing to take a level three shock. Around the same voltage as an electric fence. Join us next week when we invite magic assistant, the lovely Debbie McGee, to beat him. If you run out of male grooming products, what's the best DIY shaving foam? Our brainiacs are off to the lab for a much needed sprucing and an experiment. What's the best household foodstuff to use when you've run out of shaving cream? Steaming hot towels, the shaving equivalent of a slap in the face, to open pores in the skin and soften stubble. Gooey 
runny foods, notorious for their stickiness, are needed here. Brainiac 1 will shave using peanut butter. Smooth, not crunchy. Brainiac 2's three-day growth will be soaked in tomato sauce. And Brainiac 3 will use no-frills squirty cream. It certainly looks like shaving cream, but will it work as well? Apply shaving food. Good facial coverage is vital. It'll help reduce the friction that causes razor burn. Razors at the ready. We've gone for disposable razors, the unforgiving shaving equivalent of those rubbish plastic knives and forks. And shave. They have two minutes to remove as much of their beards as possible, and the Brainiac with the smoothest shave wins. Skin needs to be well hydrated when shaving. Rich in essential omega-3 fats, thick and creamy peanut butter is ideal for sealing in moisture. It also contains zinc, good for healing cuts fast. Squirty cream, easy to apply and an excellent source of vitamin E, which should help this Brainiac skin maintain its elasticity and youthfulness. Well, that's a theory. Burgers and chips might feel naked without it, but how good is ketchup as an alternative to shaving cream? Tomatoes are 70% water, so extra lashings of ketchup are needed to maintain lubrication. But on the plus side, it covers up blood spillage a treat. As the clock ticks down, Squirty Cream Boy may look the business, but he's getting whipped by the competition. Peanut Butter Boy has got time to shave behind his ears. And as for tomato sauce Brainiac, well, best not go there. And stop shaving. No shave would be complete without cologne to close pores in the skin. But no odour pong here. It's pure alcohol for these boys. It doesn't tell us anything, but it hurts like hell. As for smoothness, Whipped Cream Boy is still looking a bit prickly. Tommy Sauce has made hardly any progress and removed more skin than hair. But there's not even a sign of red nappy rash here. Peanut Butter Boy's skin is smooth as a baby's buttocks. And the best food for shaving is peanut butter. If you've got a hot date, have run out of shaving cream and don't mind smelling of nuts, peanut butter is the best a man can get.